moments and equilibrium. In this nugget, we're going to look at balancing moments or turning forces. But first, let's remind ourselves about what a moment is. A moment or torque is a turning force. Let's look at the example of a spanner. A spanner latches onto a nut, and you can turn the spanner to unscrew it. You need a turning force. A pivot is the point about which the system is turning. The pivot in this case is here at the nut. The lever or fulcrum is the bar that the force is being applied to. In this case, it's the handle of the spanner. When we apply a force on the spanner, we can make it spin or turn. We can apply an anti-clockwise or a clockwise moment to make it tighten or loosen. Let's remind ourselves of the directions. This is a clockwise moment. And this is an anti-clockwise moment. Or if we flip it the other way, this is a clockwise moment and an anti-clockwise moment. You can calculate moment using the following formula. Moment is force times distance. The distance is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the pivot. Force is measured in newtons, distance in meters, and moments or torque in newton meters. Or we can use this formula triangle. Now we're going to think about a seesaw. If there is a greater turning force on one side of the seesaw, it will spin. But what happens when they aren't moving? When the seesaw is balanced? In equilibrium, or when things are balanced, the anti-clockwise moment must equal the clockwise moment. Let's look at an example. Is this seesaw unbalanced? And if so, in which direction will it spin? And here we have a seesaw. Step 1. Moment is force times distance, or we use this formula triangle. Step 2. Let's keep anti-clockwise on one side and clockwise on the other. Anti-clockwise, we have our force of 30 newtons and our distance of 1.1 metres. So moment is 30 times 1.1, which is 33 newton metres. And on the clockwise side, we have a force of 20 newtons and a distance of 1.5. Moment is force times distance, which is 20 times 1.5, which is 30 newton metres. So here the anti-clockwise moment is greater than the clockwise moment. 33 is greater than 30. The resultant moment is 33 minus 30, which is 3 newton metres anti-clockwise. So there's a resultant, an overall moment, an overall turning force of 3 newton metres anti-clockwise, so our seesaw will spin anti-clockwise. Our seesaw is unbalanced, and it will spin anti-clockwise. We can also use moments to balance things. Let's try answering this question. Where should a 400 newton child sit to balance a seesaw with a 300 newton child that is 1.2 metres from the pivot. So in equilibrium, our clockwise moment equals our anti-clockwise moment. So our anti-clockwise moment is 400 times the mystery distance, and that must equal 300 times 1.2. Let's perform this calculation. So 400 times the mystery distance is 360. To get the mystery distance by itself, we need to divide by 400, so 360 divided by 400 is our distance of 0.9 metres. So they should sit 0.9 metres away from the pivot. Let's look at one final question. How much force applied at 1.5 metres is needed to balance a seesaw with a 300 newton child that is 1.2 metres away from the pivot? So we have a drawing of our situation here. In equilibrium, the anti-clockwise moment equals the clockwise moment. So our mystery force, times 1.5, moment is force times distance, is 300 times 1.2. So calculating that clockwise moment, we have 360. So now let's divide that side by 1.5 to get our mystery force by itself. Because force is moment divided by distance, so 360 divided by 1.5 is 240 newtons. We need a force of 240 newtons applied 1.5 metres from the pivot to balance that seesaw. To summarise, in equilibrium, 
the anti-clockwise moment equals the clockwise moment, and you can calculate the moment using moment is force times distance, or the formula triangle. You should be prepared to rearrange the formula for force and for distance.